Empathy is a necessary and uniquely human emotion. Whether we realize it or not, we're constantly reading people to find out what they're feeling. It's because of the brain's vagus nerve that our feelings are often written all over our faces. Dr. Stephen Porges explains. So when we look at people and I, you know, many of the people on, on, on the call or watching this video are clinicians and they always look at people, or at least they should look at people. And when they look at people, they often can tell how a person is feeling. And part of it is because the nerves that control all the striated muscles of the face and head are linked in the brainstem to this myelinated smart vagus. So in a sense, we're wearing our heart on our face. But again, insightful clinicians and insightful people know that. It's not merely the muscles of the face that are showing it, but the muscles that control vocalization. So when we talk to a person on a phone, we can say to them, oh, what's the matter, right? Mm -hmm. Because the voice is uh, not modulated, it doesn't have the prosodic, the intonation features. Because the neural regulation of, of the larynx and pharynx that create prosody are shared in the brainstem with the neural regulation of that smart myelinated vagus. Prosodic voice is intonation, so it's, it, it's versus a monotone. So prosody is the modulation of pitch. Think of a mother's lullaby as she calms the child. That's prosodic vocalizations. And as clinicians and as social human beings, we're much more interested in the intonation of the voice than we are in the content. So being attuned to others' feelings, as well as expressing our own, often begins in the brain. This week, we'll be getting into this with Dr. Porges in a free webinar. He'll walk us through the pathways of the brain's vagus nerve, how it's connected to our emotions, and its relationship to the heart. It's free to watch the webinar at the time of broadcast. Just click the link below to sign up.